Hello, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at how to create a custom thumbnail for your vehicle and upload it to the Steam Workshop. Let's do it! All right, so before we get started, let's go over a few things. Why you should make a custom thumbnail. I mean, why should you? Well, the first reason is because you can make a cool image of your vehicle and upload it to the Steam Workshop, of course. And that means you can get a view, for example. Uh, I can now be in front of my screenshot here. And look at that. We'll take a screenshot. Boop. Ah, there we go. Now I can make this into a nice thumbnail of me and my plane and upload it to the Steam Workshop. That's cool. All right, second reason, branding. Yep, that's right, branding. So the skull is kind of my thing, the endo skull here. So if I want to put this little icon on the side of my screenshot, I can do that with a custom thumbnail. And that way, when you see the vehicle, you know it's an endo skull vehicle. That's cool. So what else? Well, the final reason is you can go ahead and you can make your vehicle stand out because if everyone's not doing it, you can make a custom screenshot that when people see it, it's going to stand out from the rest. Well, unless everybody does it, but I don't think everyone's going to do it because it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so let's get into why you should not make a custom thumbnail. It's because, well, you're going to be silly and upload images that aren't the vehicle or a bad picture of the vehicle. And the whole point of the Steam Workshop thumbnails is so people can see your vehicle. So if you upload a dumb thing, it's gonna be kinda dumb. You know what I mean? Second thing, you're just gonna upload something with your logo giant and we're not gonna see your vehicle. That's not branding, that's overkill. Don't do that. After you do that, what else is gonna happen? Well, if you're lazy and you don't change the thumbnail each time you upload a new vehicle, you're going to get duplicates uploaded because you have to change the thumbnail manually every time you create a new vehicle and upload it. So what else is going to happen? Well, you're going to get your vehicle deleted because why? Because the mod is going to see that you're uploading duplicate vehicles or bad images and it's not helping the Steam Workshop for Stormworks. So you're going to get deleted. I don't know if they can ban you, but it, you know, I would do that. I would ban you if you uploaded bad thumbnails. So that's another thing. So what's the final reason you should not make a custom thumbnail? Well, you're going to be unliked and unpopular if you do all the things I just mentioned. So don't do it. If you're going to do this, make a custom thumbnail that looks great, shows a little bit of your branding, and makes people want to download your vehicle. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and get started and uh, do the steps. All right, if you got this far, here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to create an image file that is 512 pixels by 512 pixels. This is going to be your thumbnail. You're going to want to go ahead and put your vehicle in there, a nice shot of your vehicle, and maybe your logo. Once you have your thumbnail design completed, you're going to want to export that PNG file to your C drive slash user slash your name, mine is Endo, then slash app data slash local slash temp. And this is going to be filled with lots of files, but just ignore them. Go ahead and save the file name as workshop underscore preview dot png. This is the file that's going to be uploaded to the Steam Workshop. The next thing you want to do is right click on the file, go down to properties and select read only. This is going to make it so that Stormworks can't overwrite the file. But remember, you have to replace this file every time you create a new vehicle and try to upload it to the workshop. If not, you're going to get duplicates of this image on every vehicle you upload. So every time you create a new vehicle, you have to create a new thumbnail, save it here, make sure it's read only, and then upload. Don't be lazy. Don't forget this. You don't want duplicates on the workshop. All right. So once we're done, we go ahead into Stormworks, hit the upload button. Of course, I'm going to upload it to the same one I already did. Confirm, hit upload, and wham, my new vehicle is uploaded with the new icon. It looks just like this. All right, well, that's it for today. I just want to show you how to create a custom thumbnail. I wanted to go ahead and figure it out myself. Uh, the next thing I think I'm going to do is see if I can do it with a mission because that would be great because missions do have a default thumbnail and, you know, it's kind of boring. All right, so remember, don't be lazy. Do good thumbnails. Don't just do your logo. Don't do a bad picture of your vehicle. The whole point of doing a custom thumbnail is to make an appealing shot of your vehicle that people want to download. That's it. I will see you next time. Let's take this plane and get the heck out of here. 
Oh, this takes forever to get in here. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave the back door open. I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna go super duper fast. I'm going to take off. You're not even gonna see me. I'm gonna be like gone in a second. Like, like really gone. Like, I'm gonna start the engines really quick. And, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the engines on. Just like this. I'm the prop pitch. Oh my gosh. There we go. And let's take off. Alright. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Uh oh.